Hey, what up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. I'm Will, and on this channel, I try to show how to's and just show different places to go eat, visit, experience, and be happy. So, in today's episode, we will be going to New York, gonna do a full tour, going through Brooklyn and Queens. Uh, we visited a few spots, and you're gonna see where you can go in order to have some nice food and a very, very happy stomach. Uh, I do have two guests. It's my brother and my sister. And my sister. It's my brother and wifey. She ain't my sister. Um, but it's going to be very nice. So stay tuned and you'll see the spots. All right. Let's go this way. Today is a new day. Today is Sunday. Uh, last night we went to my aunt's house. For a quince. It's my little cousin's birthday. So we were having some fun over there, spending some time with some family. It's just me, wifey, and my brother. He driving and take us around, wife back here somewhere. We are going to go on a food tour. Uh, right now we're in Brooklyn. We probably go other places though. We probably go all over Queens and all that. Um well we're just gonna go with the flow. And I'm gonna show you guys a few Little secret hidden spots, nice little gems, jewels that you probably never been to, never heard of, never had. And it's gonna be nice, very, very nice. Might have a little bit of everything tacos, seafood, beef ribs, everything. Who knows? Hey guys, wifey takeover. Our first stop is Besos here in Brooklyn. Um, we're waiting to get seated and we already know what we want, so stay tuned. Look at all that painting up there. It's super awesome. The ambiance is really cool. The music is really cool. But look at that. Plants. Totally our style. Um, so we ended up ordering the jerk mac and cheese and then the tres leches um, French toast. Um, we're super excited because this is our first stop and we can't wait. We'll come back and show you what they look like. They get close. Tres leches, um, French, French toast. toast, and some jerk mac and cheese. We'll see how this goes because I don't understand how this is tres leches, but maybe um, they dipped it in some tres leches batter or something, but we'll see. I'm excited for the mac and cheese though. So good! <clears throat> okay guys, so we took a bite and I'm extremely disappointed. Um, not worth it. Um, it is good, but it does, it's just a regular French toast and that's about it. There's nothing special, there's nothing to it, there's nothing. So I'm really disappointed. Um, I haven't tasted the um, jerk mac and cheese, but my brother here says that it tastes good, so we'll go ahead and give it a try. Mm, it's so good. Okay, that one's worth it. It tastes really, really, really good, but I'm still disappointed in the French toast. All right, you're probably wondering, Where'd you go? How was that? Uh, it, I mean, it was good. The food was good. If it's just cooked, you know what I mean? If you don't know what you're getting, it was good. I got the jerk mac and cheese. That was good. I knew what I was getting, so I was good. Um, we did get the, uh, what's that called? Tres Leches French Toast. And if you've ever had it. And if you've ever had anything that's Tres Leches, you'll know what it is, you know? Um, or you know how it, how it should taste and all that. And if you ever had French toast, you'll definitely know what you're getting too. 
issue here is um, that did not taste like tres leches, anything. It just tasted like regular French toast. They only gave us a set of two uh, cutlery. There's three of us. I don't know how they got that wrong. Customer service, horrible. But we asked, hey, is, are there any seats in the back? Uh, I don't know, but I mean, you could go check. You go check if you wanna sit in the back to see if you see any space. What? We got a coffee that didn't come till like after a little, till, till after the meal. So uh, no drinks, no appetizers, no anything like that. Um, super long wait. They said 20 minutes. It was more than 20 minutes. Huh? Sleeping? Oh, crap. So we're going to rate it on two things. Uh, customer service and food. Out of five. Customer service, out of five, you got a one. Um, food, out of five. You got a three, and that's because the mac and cheese, it did taste pretty good. For me, it wasn't all that still. It just tasted like a little spicier mac and cheese, you know. I know the jerk sauce, so it did taste a little bit like jerk. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad it wasn't like super spicy. So they did a good job there, but will I go back? No, will you go back? That was actually his second time going, and so he wanted to give it another try for us, but he's definitely not going back. Would you go back? No. All right, that's three no's. That's Bessel Restaurant here in bed -Stuy. It's a no. Um, Brooklyn, for people who don't know bed -Stuy. But, um, all right, that's stop number one. Uh, update what else we get after. All right, so we are pulling up to the next place. I don't know the name, I'll let you know in a few, but in the meantime, check out all of this. Oh, this way. A lot of graffiti. This is an area right here in um, Bushwick that is just full of graffiti. Going straight down here. Art. <laughs> <laughs> full of art. It's going straight down here, all the way down there. Um, I'll show you what it is in a few because we're gonna pass by. See, it's a whole bunch of people who take photos, taking advantage of the nice art. Uh, but we are at, what's this place called? We are at Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. And we're gonna see what it is. They have outdoor seating also. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, so we just got seated. Um, look how cute this place is inside too. We're out here sitting outside. The breeze is nice. And um, my brother Manny, he said that they have the best margarita, uh, not margaritas, pina coladas. So, froze. <laughs> it's called a frozen pain killer. So, we'll see what it tastes like. And we'll come back and give you guys the update. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Plate number one, grilled avocado. Grilled avocado. Or is it a burnt avocado? It's a fresh avocado. Yeah, I've had this before. Try it, try it. Good. Hey guys, so we ordered um, a grilled avocado and we ordered their famous painkillers, which is a um, frozen pina colada and what they're known for. Um, 
the um, I've had grilled avocados in the past and they're really really tasty this one's new to me with what they drizzled on top what I had a grilled avocado it was um, balsamic vinegar um, drizzled on top this one I think is just grilled with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of sea salt so it's a little different but I love avocados so I enjoy I'm enjoying it and now we're all gonna just enjoy these Really, really good. Talk to you later. That is interesting. They wrap it in a cloth. So I, what I really like about this painkiller is the uh, the ice is not like super big. You know, it's like really fine that whatever piece is there it just melts right away it's like super like a smoothie um it's kind of like a yeah i got one more it's kind of like a pineapple i don't know what else is there and even this i don't like avocado unless it's guacamole because i don't know the taste but grilled out of avocado is really good and it's with some arugula um olive oil salt pepper real simple and it's delicious, just like that. Totally worth it, totally worth it. If I did that, you know it's good. So we got some oysters. <clears throat> We're gonna have some oysters. They got the um, the lemon, uh, garlic with ketchup. It's not ketchup. What's that? It's cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce and... Vinegar and vinegar hot sauce. And hot sauce. I already had one. She had one. She liked it. Um, my brother's gonna try that that one. That's his. He's never had it before. He thought they were clams. He thought it was clams. But they're oysters. He made it to gonna try it for the same for the first time. Oh, don't chew it. Don't chew. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. All right, sea bass. Uh, sea. Sea wolf. Sea wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I get a thumbs up. You know what I mean? We, I mean, we didn't get anything too, too much. We just got uh, the oysters and the grilled avocado. But even that was better than the last place, to be honest. Um, the drink was amazing. If you ever go over there, definitely get a painkiller, frozen drink uh, yeah I think that's how it's called uh, the service was fast they said it's 45 minute wait that's when you started browsing around looking at the um, art and the um, that was on the walls and all that but it wasn't even 45 minutes it was way faster than that and the food, um, the food came out really fast the drink came out really fast they gave us water and stuff um, your typical restaurant stuff that the other place didn't give. So now we're on our way somewhere else. Uh, I believe we are going to, if not another place in Brooklyn, we will be going to Queens. Um, I'm just gonna get out of Brooklyn real quick. And I'll show you that. You got anything to say, girl? Uh, it's a thumbs up for me. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the oysters were good. The grilled avocado was good. The drink was good. Um, Service. So the service was really good. You did everything there. You scanned it and you placed your order and you paid all at once. So um, I definitely felt really safe uh, because there wasn't too much like contact or back and forth. The only time we had contact with them, um, they came to check up on us um, a couple times, but you know it was just like really fast. So the verdict spoke and it said, mm, it said thumbs up. Stay tuned. We're gonna go. <coughs> Stay tuned, we're gonna go to a few other places and we'll see what else it is. Obviously, we can't go to everywhere because that's like a lot of places, but I plan on making way more of these and we're gonna make uh, 
week it's going to show a whole bunch of other stuff more food as the years go you give it a thumbs up all right that's three thumbs up so we're off to the next place what up y'all we're here we're in queens um we are at little manila we're in little manila right now we're in front of caballan uh renee's kitchen and capamilia restaurants we're thinking about which one to choose and there's also balut man over here He's selling his balut shout out to my filipino brothers who eat that balut because i don't but we're trying to decide what to get we don't know if we're gonna walk down yet or just stay here that's that <laughs> all right so we are at cucina pinoy bistro and uh we're gonna get a few things from here just two things one of the chicken barbecue but they don't have it right now they only have the pork barbecue so we are gonna get some sisig some bango sis bangus bangus sisig and that is just a uh, fish or bangus saute with chopped onions green chili egg and served on a sizzling plate and then we also gonna get some lupia lupia a little spring roll type thing um it's called this one's called lupia shanghai it says fried mini ground pork and chicken with veggies and a wrap we're gonna get those two and of course we gotta get the filipino beer red horse Uh, definitely gonna be back so uh, I'm pretty happy that we're here right now it's gonna take me back eating this food and drinking that red horse so I'll show you in a bit That's the uh, bangus, that's the fish that they got with nice egg in there somewhere. And it was nice and sizzly, you know what I mean? Seasoned the Philippine way. So it's gonna be delicious. Red horse. Filipino beer. This is the part when I show off my Tagalog skills and represent for the Philippines. Uh, brothers and sisters from the Philippines. Okay, so itong Tagalog ko. Huwag <laughs> kayo mabibigla ha kung boses babae ako. Lagi ako napapagamalan eh. Ang sarap ng serbesa ng ito. Mukhang marami na ako naiinom ha. Kanina nakakita ko ng kabayo na nagmamaneho ng school bus. Pero maalala ko nga pala. Mukhang daw luwang kami sunata ang naisuot ko. Nako. Pero itong uso ngayon sa New York eh. Anong paki nila? Sana lang gising pa ako pag kaubos ko ng baso ito. Get yourself, go to a little Manila, go to a Filipino place, get yourself with, uh, some garlic rice. This is definitely a game changer, it's a regular rice. And to end it, we gotta kill it. So we just ate, and now we at this place. 
we're gonna have something i think taho we're gonna have a taho i'm not sure what it is i think it's some type of ice cream but that's what we're gonna have here and this is where we at and she's having a blast she likes the day so far i like the day so far gotta try this This is that thing. Yeah. So this is what it looked like. Tajo. Tajo. And I believe it's like a syrup or like caramel syrup with like bean curd and Tapioca balls. Tapioca balls. And this is something that's like a really big hit in um, the Philippines. It's it's kind of like, like, <clears throat> um, I guess like you would say like oatmeal a little bit. Like it's what people or like, I don't know. It's like a breakfast drink that people drink early in the morning. Um, and over there, it was literally like ten cents. Here, it was five dollars. But the cup over there is like literally like this big. Um, and it's warm. It's best served warm and an early, early in the morning. Hot, actually, but let's see. Yeah, so we had it <clears throat> for the first time over there, and it was really good. I really liked it. We got it from two places. I really, I hated the first one, and then we got it from another place, and it was super good. I'm gonna let my brother explain what exactly it is because I, I still don't know, but I just know it's good. But here we go. <laughs> was it hot? Well, some fell out too. Uh, well, it's really good. Just like that last one. Not as good as the last spot because no matter what you get, it's not going to be like the place where it's from, I believe. Unless the chef is like really, really good. But this is not as good as the one in the Philippines. It's better than the first one that I didn't like, but it's not as good as the last one that I really like. Is it hot? It's really hot. The, <clears throat> this thing, um, the bean curd, it just like melts. Completely melts. And the uh, caramel Is it sweet? works so good with it. I'm gonna go to the top so I can have some tapioca. Mm. It's good. Really good. Go ahead, babe. What you think? Things okay? Too hot? I don't know. It's an acquired taste, and like the first time I had it, I was like, no. And the second time I had it, it was better, but I don't know. It's not my thing. It is. It's not gross or anything, but it's definitely like not texture. Yeah, I don't even know if it's yeah. the texture or whatever, but it, I don't know. It's not my thing. My brother-in-law loves it. How's it compared to the one over there? The uh, first one and the second one. It's yeah. a lot hotter. It's a lot hotter now than it was over there. Um, the first one, I don't know what I was expecting, so I think that's yeah. why I yeah, didn't yeah. like it. I felt like I just had like a whole bunch of like mucus <laughs> in my mouth. Like it was just like <laughs> that, it was, that sounds so nasty. It was just kind of like I don't know. The second one, I was like, okay, it's good, but this one, it's good. But it's not my thing, so. Okay. All right, confirmation. What is it exactly? Tapioca and bean curd. Tapioca and, and sugar. Bean curd. Sugar. Okay. Yeah. So it was that. So what do you like about it exactly, man? So the bean curd has no flavor. It's like a creamy texture, but the sugar is what balances it out. So it's not too sugary. Because obviously there's like sugar in it. The bean curd balances it out so you won't have like, like an overload of sweetness. Okay. The tapioca is always good. Okay, okay. All right, so we just left Cucina, Philippine restaurant. <clears throat> it was good. Um, I don't think I have any complaints, to be honest. The sisig was really good and... 
it was just really good. It had a really good flavor. You tasted the ginger. It wasn't overpowering. And that's one thing. Uh, dishes that usually have like ginger, sometimes the ginger is just way too much, like way in your face and strong. But it was not overpowering at all. It was like a really good balance of um, saltiness, some sour, because we did put like a, we squeezed a little lemon in there, a little lemon wedge. Um, the rice went perfect with it and that garlic rice went even better with it. Um, the stop we made for the Tahoe, Tahoe. The stop we made for the Tahoe, it was... <laughs> they laughing at me because I don't really know how to say it. <clears throat> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And it's, it's Tahoe, not Tahoe like Chevy. It's Tahoe. So right now we are, we're still in Queens. Well, we might stay in Queens. I'm not too sure yet. Oh, well, customer service. <clears throat> It was just a bit slow, but it was way better than um, that first one when it comes to like the slowness and all that. So because of that, you still get a thumbs up. And the food, quality of food and all that, taste, presentation, everything. Thumbs up. What about you, babe? Two thumbs up? What about you, yo? Thumbs up. There we go. So we got three thumbs up. Well, she put two, so we got four thumbs up for stop number three stop number three now uh, stop number four coming up all right so we're going to a taco truck place we're gonna explore some seafood we're still here in queens not too far from little manila and um the line is wrapped around i'll show you the line is over there to over here uh we'll figure it out though this line, that was in the line. This is the line that goes all the way around the whole block. Uh, dang. I want to try it, then I don't want to try it. This is literally how far we're So we're still going, going. We literally made it to the end of the block to be at the opposite corner. This is crazy, man. <laughs> We're almost there. We put a timer on for 20 minutes and we have three minutes and 20 seconds left and we're like not even there. Oh, we're yet. almost there. We're almost there. We're getting close. This is the first time I ever waited on the line for this month. So we literally next and there's 30 seconds to spare. So the wait is about 20 minutes. Uh, wait is about 20 minutes, but we here, we here. Okay, so we ordered right now. Can you see the card? So this is where we at right here. This. Bihria Landia Tacos. This is their other information there. I hope they were, I wish they were like, it's not focusing. I wish they were like paying me for this promotion. So the tacos that are here, it's only one. I asked him, what is it? Is it chicken? He said, no, it's only uh, meat. Well, he said carne, that's just beef. So it's only beef taco, only one. So I guess that's how they, they're able to deal with such a large amount of um, orders. They keep it just one meat, and the way it is here, they they have a consomme. In Spanish, it's consomme, but it's a uh, it's just like a broth. I don't even know what to call it in Eng in English, but it serves as a dipping sauce for the tacos. So we'll be here. We heard them call number forty three, and we are fifty four. So it's about eleven people ahead of us. Eleven orders ahead of us. So we're gonna be waiting for a little bit and we'll check back in soon. We got in the car just now with our food. We got it right here. Waters. Bag of food, got three waters. We just had a few tacos and it's way too hot and humid to eat it out here like these fools. Um, so we're gonna go to a park be under in some shade or something and we'll eat it there. There I go again. 
Okay, so change of plan. Um, we couldn't get in the park. So we're just gonna eat this in the car real quick. But look how it looks. So this is the consomme. Consomme. It's like beef stew. It's like, yeah, it's like the beef stew. So you're supposed to dip these beautiful things here. And that. And they also gave this stuff. I think this is like pickled something. Onions. Pickled onions or something like that. Yeah. And then this thing. More sauce, I guess. Yeah. And then she got. She got this. It was a tostada. <laughs> it was a tostada. <laughs> Keyword. It's good. So these are the babies. That's not good. I think we should just put a little bit of pickles on everything. We tried a bit of this. It tastes so good. It has like cinnamon or something in there too. What you think? What you tasting there? Hmm? It's delicious. <laughs> Alright. Don't do that. It. You're supposed to dip it. Good. Definitely worth standing in line. Wow. For 21 minutes. Yo, that is so good. I'm not even kidding. Nice beef. You don't taste any game or anything. Taste the cilantro, the onions, everything that cooked in the beef. Wow. Okay, so that was the last food stop, and now it's 7.26 p.m. Um, we started at around 12, so, I mean, we did make a few stops, you know what I mean? Um, a few extra stops, that's why it's like seven and a half hours. It wasn't really seven and a half hours of eating, but um, it was a good day, and for that last spot, the tacos were so freaking good. That consomme was so freaking good. The um, she had a she had a tostada, and she said it was super good too, but it tasted similar. The only thing that I wish we would have did was that wish we would have done is probably ate right away, like right after they gave us the food find a place like ASAP uh, because since we did take some time to find a place and then we didn't find a place so we just ate it it was probably like what a gap of 35 minutes probably, <laughs> probably like 30 or, 40. 30 or 40 minutes waiting before we ate um, and because of that the tortilla was a bit more soggy and all sorts I mean for the taco it's fine it's fine for me but if you get if you ever get something like a tostada, it's supposed to be like a Dorito chip. You know what I mean? Like super crunchy. And it was, it might as well have been a taco after that. You know what I mean? But it was so good. I'm not sure how long they like braised that beef, but long enough till it's falling off. I know that's a minimum of about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how much meat, you know, how big it is. Uh, but whatever seasonings they put in there, wow, it was, it was so good. So it was totally worth uh, waiting there for uh, like 20 minutes in line and then another like 15 minutes waiting to actually get the food. I would go again, um, but next time I do go, I will get way more tacos. <laughs> all I got was two. We all got two each and um, she got a tostada. Uh, so it wasn't enough, but it was definitely worth it. So the price was really good also. I mean, each taco was three to, three bucks, and for it to taste like that, it's, it's definitely worth three bucks. I've had tacos that are like a dollar fifty, a dollar, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't usually try to go over that, but because this was so good, it was so worth it. And I mean, it's the same thing as a restaurant. 
for real, for real. Because if you go to a restaurant, they give you three for like nine. So it's pretty much the same thing, or three for 12. But, so for one over here at the food truck, it was three bucks. Super good. The consomme was delicious. I could have just drank that, even had bits of beef in it, beef fat, no bone. But it was just so good. I would go again. And that's the best way to end the food tour. Uh, there's many food tour to be honest because we could have just went on and on and on and on but that's the best way to end it with that meal awesome tacos and we might go get something else all right so surprise surprise we went to coach and we got some ice cream uh she likes mint chocolate and me i got a banana i want to see how it tastes but a bigger surprise is where we came to eat it. Right now we're in Far Rock and Far Rock away. Um, we're at the beach over here. We're just gonna have our ice cream and go from there. That is one thing that I miss about living here. Uh, the beach is literally like 30 minutes away from where I was at in Brooklyn. Oh my God. Uh, so it's perfect, you know what I mean? I'll give you a look. Mama. Got a nice little sunset. I'll take a photo of that later. Nice little pathway. Going to the beach. Now, what could get better than this? Ice cream, beach, fams. This banana ice cream is pretty good. This is the first time I had it. Um, my mom, she used to make banana uh, milkshakes back in the day. And they were always really good. So, it tastes similar, but not as sweet. Because she would put like mad sugar. Because I asked for it, pretty much. Yeah. But we're gonna end the food tour now. I'm gonna stop with the video here. And I'll probably do a few more of these. If you know any other spots that you recommend, let me know. If you wanna see more of this. And I'm gonna well, just keep on doing more of these videos. Whether you want to see it or Whether not. Whether you want to see it or not. Because <laughs> this is what I like doing. Find new places, uh, eat there. You got a story to tell, you know? So, like, subscribe, share the video, and stay blessed. Oh, good. Watch it by the game. Watch the wave. Ha <laughs> ha